So welcome to um, Gentle Yoga on Valentine's Day. And of course, we have to do a heart opening practice since it's Valentine's Day. Um, but what I also want to do is tie in the work that we've been doing around Warrior Three. We've been building on this pose since the beginning of the month. And this is perfect because we've focused a lot on balance and hamstring length and hip stability. Now we get to move to the upper body. And one of the components that gets in the way of a good solid warrior three is our shoulder mobility. So if we're lacking in shoulder mobility, we're not gonna be able to create a straight line of energy for that to kind of find that perfectly balanced pose. So for today's practice, you will need a strap and it will be very helpful if you have two blocks. Uh, if you don't have two blocks, two little stacks of books, two pillows, cushions, something like that, that you can put your hands on in child's pose to elevate the hands. And we'll use them for a few other things like that, okay? All right, beautiful. So I'd like you to start in a seated position and I, I want to begin this heart opening practice with a reading from a book called Radical Acceptance by Tara Brock. And um, in this book, she says, as we move from resisting our physical experience to bringing radical acceptance to the life living through us, we awaken from trance. So radical acceptance of the life living through us. We open to the fullness and mystery of our life. Each moment we wakefully let be, we are home. We are home. When we meet life through our bodies with radical acceptance, we are the awakened one beholding the changing stream of sensations, feelings, and thoughts. Everything is alive. The whole world lives inside us. As we let life live through us, we experience the boundless openness of our true nature. So bring your hands over your heart, both hands. Take a moment to feel your heartbeat, this life inside you, the breathing lungs that squeeze the heart with every inhale. We've never been here before. This breath is brand new. And we can't take even one breath for granted. Let's use this practice today as a way to let our life move through us, living with awareness of our pulse, our breath, our prana, our aliveness. We're gonna start this practice lying down on our backs to do a little shoulder mobility test. So for the purpose of this shoulder mobility test, I'd like you to straighten your legs out, finding the natural curve of your low back and see if you can feel where your bottom or back ribs are pressed to the floor, touching the floor. You might take your hands to your ribs and just press down. And it's important that we keep the back ribs pressed onto the floor. And then we're going to take the arms up slowly overhead and reach the arms up behind us and see if you can feel the point when you are tempted to pull the rib cage up in, store in order to get the arms down. And I'd like you to resist that and see if you can feel the place your shoulders naturally stop that's your shoulder mobility. 
And you can probably see, um, if you can see the screen, that my fingers are a few inches off the floor. So I don't have a full 180 degree range of motion in my shoulder. In order to get my hands to the floor, I have to move my spine because my shoulders don't have that range of motion. So just check for yourself, where is your natural stop? Another way to do this is cactus arms. And with your rib cage on the floor, elbows on the floor, do the backs of your hands touch. And you can probably see like I can get mine down, but I have to move my spine in order for that to happen. I have to strain pretty good to get the backs of my hands to the floor. So where do your hands naturally stop? Then one more thing, you can find fingertips on the back of your head, chin lifted, rib cage down. Are you straining to get your elbows to the floor there? So just an interesting little look at shoulder mobility. If all of that is easy for you, stretch your arms up overhead, then you are a person that needs more stability, strength in your shoulders, and maybe a little less stretch and mobility. Sweep the arms down, draw the knees in, chin to chest, come into a nice tight little ball, rock side to side. And let's do that again. Shoot the arms up, legs out, stretch long. Deep breath in and then snow angel arms down, hug the knees to the chest. Pull the knees in and push the breath out. Let's do it one more time. Reach tall, stretch long. Exhale, sweep down, knees in, squeeze tight. Rock and roll yourself to a seat, either sideways or straight up. And let's grab that strap. And we're just going to take a hold of this strap. You can sit on something if it's if it feels better to your your hips and your back. We're going to take this strap out wide in our hands and do what we call shoulder flossing. And I like to hold onto the buckle side so that it doesn't dangle on the floor because that makes a lot of noise and bugs me. So the arms come up in a big Y shape and then just slowly go wide enough that you can bring the band all the way down behind you and relax. And then create tension on the band again, come up and over and relax in front. So let's just do that. Let's relax each time out of the tension of the band and then create tension again, up and over. And as you do that, do you notice maybe that you can bring your thumbs a little bit closer together? Working in a range of motion that doesn't feel like strain, it just feels doable. Like you've got WD-40 in your joint. Side note, I was so proud of myself yesterday. I fixed my sewing machine with a little WD-40. <laughs> the little things. All right, this time we're gonna come up and back. And we're gonna hover right there, right behind the shoulders, the shoulder blades. This is gonna feel a little bit intense. This is where the tightest range, tightest places in the range of motion, we're just hovering up and down here. And then reach the arms high. Exhale to the left side, set the hand down, pull up on the band with your right hand. Just use the band as a way to lift up instead of dumping over. And then let's switch, come up, drop the right, lift the left, move into that left side.
And then we're just gonna leave the band on the floor. Take both arms overhead. Now, if you are one of those people that has really big shoulder mobility, meaning your arms would just go behind your ears easily. Today, I'm gonna to ask you to really hug your shoulders in, hug the arms both in and keep that kind of strength when we're here. If you, like me, are more stable and restricted in your shoulder motion, I want you to lift your arm bones up. So kind of try both and see which feels like a better idea in your body. Do you need more stability here or more mobility? I'm gonna take one hand and lift up and over. So you're choosing here either a big stretch or some strength with the stretch. And I think you know who you are. <laughs> if you're really mobile, you know you need a little bit more of that plugging in. If you're super tight, stiff, go for the stretch. And then switch sides. Deep, slow breaths. Maybe experiment with plugging in or opening up that joint. See what feels like intuitive for your body. And then we'll release. Do a couple of shoulder rolls now, just really aware of where that arm bone rolls around the socket. And it's almost like a golf tee, it's not a deep socket. So the shoulder is inherently unstable. Go both directions, see if you can feel that. And then go ahead and rest. We're gonna come off of our prop and around to a tabletop position. And in this all fours position, we're going to do something called shoulder push-ups. And these are not really push-ups, they're shoulder movements that create mobility and stability. So the first thing we're gonna do is press into our hands and open up the shoulder blades. It feels a little bit like cat, except you're not moving your low back. On the exhale, the arms stay straight, the chest sinks down and the shoulder blades squeeze together on the back. Press into the hands, open up the shoulders, shoulder blades. Exhale, let them drop. Move with your breath. So see if you can feel an arm bone gliding up and down in relationship to the shoulder blade, the outer edge of your shoulder blades. Now push into your hands, open up your shoulder blades, hug your armpits in. Let's create some stability here. So imagine squeezing your yoga mat between your hands, put the wrinkle in your mat between your hands. You should feel your chest muscles engage, your armpits hug in. And on your exhale, sit back into child's pose. You take your knees wide, let your head come to the mat or a block. Draw your hands back close to your head and just feel child's pose with no action of shoulder flexion. And then bring, keep your head down, keep your hips down, but bring your fingertips to the floor, elbows high. So your hands are kind of like spiders on the floor on either side of your mat and your elbows are lifted. Your arms are kind of making a goal post shape. Deep breaths here, notice chest, notice upper back. And now palms down, bring your arms forward until you feel your elbows resting on the ground. Elbows, hands, arms reaching up a little bit farther. Notice how your shoulders feel here with the elbows resting. This is a kind of a passive stretch. And then start the journey of inching your fingers forward. 
reaching your fingers to the top of your mat, your elbows will lift. And then once again, if you're a person that really needs to work on strength and stability, reach your fingers away while you plug your arm bones deep into your shoulders. If you are needing, if you feel like you're limited in your range of motion, walk the arms forward. Feel stretch and space in your armpits and shoulders. Lift your head and come up to tabletop. Do a couple more of those shoulder push-ups. Now that we've done a little stretching for the chest, come back to that open shoulder blades and close. And then with open shoulder blades, chest strong, tuck your toes and lift into downward facing dog. First look at our back body, pedal your heels. Like you've just tipped yourself upside down. Notice the change in energy here. Deep, slow breaths. Oxygen to all the cells of your body. Lowering back again to the knees, we're gonna come into puppy pose. So I'm gonna give you a few options for this. This is a pretty intense stretch for the shoulders. Option one, just stay right here with hips over knees. Bring your hands farther forward and lower your head. Maybe a block under your head, maybe head on the mat. If you'd like a little more, if you'd like to explore a little farther, this is where we can bring out two blocks or two pillows and elevate your hands. So again, we want the hips up and back. Pretty big stretch for the shoulders. So if you know that what you need is stability, I suggest keeping your hands on the floor and really work to plug your arms in, feel strong shoulders. But for people like me that have a little less range of motion, this elevation is helpful. Breathe deeply. A little uncomfortable but helpful posture. Slowly rise up off of your props. Shoulder push-ups again. And just feel the energy, the work, the space around your shoulders. Let's take the right arm up and scoop it underneath, going now into the back of the right shoulder. Thread the needle. Left arm lifts overhead, right arm reaches through. And just moving breath backwards. Using your breath as a way to feel the space in your upper back. And then take that top arm, use it to press you back up. Find your center and then the left arm lifts high and scoops through, thread the needle coming into the back of your shoulder. And I hope you all know that if any of this feels painful, sharp, edgy, you're making modifications to find the inside of that edge for yourself. It's 
bring the hand back, pressing up to tabletop. And then one more time into downward facing dog and see if this second down dog feels a little different. I'd like you to inhale, round your upper back a little bit, come forward, and then exhale, wrap your armpits in and press backwards. Let's do that again. Round your upper back, kind of hunch forward, and then exhale, wrap your armpits in, press back. One more time, round, kind of like you're flaying open your shoulders, your armpits, and then hug the armpits in, point your elbows to the ground, press back. Slowly walk your feet to your hands and inhale to a half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms slowly sweep up and take your time. We've done a lot for shoulders already. Bring your hands to your heart. Radical acceptance of the life in your body, every single cell here life moving through you. Rub your hands together. I'm going to do a couple of little things from the, the warm-up of Qigong that really helps us feel the energy in our body. So rub your hands briskly. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And on your exhale, lower your arms and just feel that tingling in your fingers. Put a soft bend in your knees and just let energy flow through your body. Do that one more time. Bring your hands together, rub briskly. Life force energy, prana. Deep breath in through your nose. Exhale, lower your hands, feel the tingling. That's you being alive. This precious breath and heartbeat and circulation. We're gonna do a little tapping around our heart. So you can do just one hand or you can do two hands. It's kind of, I think this is called the Tarzan breath. It's gonna tap our chest, just stimulating the meridians here, breaking out the space around the heart and just tap super soft, but just with an energy, waking up the to the heart and then take one hand and you're just going to pat 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 down the inside of one arm and up the back side down the inside up the back side taking up these meridians these pathways come back to the center tap 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 on the heart and then go the other side down the inside, up the outside. And these are loving taps. You're just sending your body the message of, I really care about you. I'm here to help you have your best health, your best vital energy. Come back to the chest. And then down to the bottom ribs, and we're just gonna tap around this space of our diaphragm. Right now, where, where a lot of us live in Utah with this air quality that's not great. And many of us have survived a respiratory illness. This is a really stimulating practice for our lungs. Come to the back, pat, pat, pat where your kidneys are. Around. Good, and then we're gonna go down the outsides of our legs, pat, 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 and up the insides. Down the outsides, up the insides. Down the outsides, just tender, loving, but energized little pats. One more time, down, tap your feet a few times, come up the inside. And again, pause in mountain pose to feel this body alive, vibrant, 
surging with life. priceless gift of this breath in this body on this day with these friends take a deep breath in arms reach and a moving meditation swan dive forward fold press to a half lift and step back downward facing dog Come forward into plank pose, drop your knees, lower your body to the earth. And as we lift, let's come up into either Wonder Woman or Superman, call it what you want. Exhale, press back. Child's pose, feel that stretch in the shoulders. Tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Do that shoulder set again, round the upper back and then hug the armpits in, press backwards. Feet to hands, inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Sweep the arms up, big slow circle sweep, feeling the shoulders. Exhale, hands to heart. Let's go again, sweep up, big slow breath. Swan dive, forward fold. Press to a halfway lift and exhale back, child's pose. Shift forward and lower your belly to the earth. Arms reach up into Superman or Wonder Woman. Exhale, press again, child's pose. Big breath out. Tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Round your shoulders, hug your armpits in and press back and down. Big exhale. And then feet come to hands. Inhale to a half lift. And exhale here in a forward fold. Let's take a moment in rag doll. So touching fingers to elbows. Let your arms make a little window around your head and just swing your arms. Your belly can rest right on your thighs. And just feel this ease in your shoulder joints. And then we'll press to a half lift. Circle sweep the arms all the way up, extended mountain. Hands come to heart. Pause again in mountain pose and feel that same sense of tingling energy. Fingertips, toes, scalp, face, heart. Roll your shoulders open so your armpits kind of come forward. I can't remember who said this, but one of the cute little Vietnamese teachers. Oh, you Americans, your armpits live in the shade. Let your armpits see the sun. <laughs> and it's this, it's this opening. Reach the arms high, interlace the fingers and point up. So here again is your opportunity to assess, am I a really mobile person and I need to work to plug my shoulders in? Or am I a stable person and my work is keeping those ribs hugged in while I stretch up? Lift as high as you can with your fingers, keep your shoulders strong, and then let your arms seek backwards. Try to keep your ribs plugged in. And then we're just gonna come into a little bit of a back bend. Feel your spine bending backwards. Press into your feet, keep the stability. Back of your shoulders are strong. Deep breaths. And come back to midline, hug everything in, top to bottom. And slowly peel the arms down. 
Beautiful. Uh, grab your strap again. So you can turn to face the wide edge of your mat if you want. So you can take a nice wide stance here. We're gonna do the same thing we did earlier with shoulder flossing, but now we'll add a nice um, fold, back bend and forward fold. So lift the arms up, find that Y shape on your band, and then come back around to wherever you can. And we're gonna come into a little heart opener here. You're gonna take some time to squeeze the band back while your heart stretches forward. You can lift your chin and then come up with your arms out straight in front of you. Start to hinge from your hips. Keep the tension on the band as you drop into your forward fold. Let your head drop. We're going to work through that several times. You can just go on your own, moving slowly through the hips, through the shoulders. Pausing anywhere along the way that you intuitively know your body needs or wants to pause. And try to move up and down from that position with a straight spine, not a rounded spine. So keep your heart lifted as long as you can until you get to the very bottom. And then you can let everything go. And on the way back up, find that length of the spine again. So you're just moving with your breath, intuitively feeling life flowing through you. Radical acceptance of this body and the way it moves and the way it doesn't. The next time you find forward fold, let's stay there. You can let go of your strap. And walk your torso side to side or just, just hang in the middle. Give your legs some attention. And then coming up to a flat back, you can use a block if you like for the twist. So in this twist, we're gonna pay particular attention to our shoulders. So let's start with the left hand right straight under your face, your head, and the right arm is gonna open up, take the long arm and let the shoulder lead the way. Let this twist be a little bit more about shoulder movement. And then back in the center to switch. Just follow the arm up. Move with your breath. And as we come back to center, keeping the feet wide, we're gonna walk the hands way out in front of us so it's like we're in a very wide downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and then just exhale, sink the head down, wiggle the fingers forward. Just let gravity do the work. If you know you need more shoulder stability and strength, plug in. You know you're tight through the shoulders, surrender. Let the muscles stop their holding, their chronic holding. And then slowly come back to center. All right, we're gonna to pivot to face the right foot. Let's come into a kneeling lunge. Let's give our hip flexors a little bit of love. So we're moving toward warrior three, our peak pose. So if you remember, if you were here last time, we spent some time squeezing a block between our knees. We spent some time with a band around our legs, pushing our legs outward. 
and we spent time here creating a wrinkle between our foot and our knee. So I'd like you to just create all of that for yourself right now to create hip stability. So imagine a block on the inside of your knee, a band on the outside, and then drawing heel to knee. Keep all of that strength and stability while you tuck your back toes. Hug in and start to bring your fingertips forward. You do have a block or two that you can use today for this three point balance. So with that stability, press down through the foot, feel your hips super strong. And let's bring the right hand to the shin. Right hand to the shin. Use that hand to help you lengthen through the crown of your head. And then if you'd like to experiment, take the left arm forward. So you're in an almost warrior three. Option to take both arms up. Kind of what we've been working on through the beginning of this class. You also have the opportunity to set that back toe down and focus more on what's happening in your shoulders. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, release everything to the floor set the back knee down once again and glide back into a hamstring stretch. <sighs> That's well earned. You can move forward and back if you like or just hold that hamstring stretch. and then ease yourself back. Hands to the inside of the right foot, juice the hip. Just drop that knee in and out. Tell it thank you for all the work it's done for you. All that stability. And let's bring that leg back and switch. Left foot comes forward. Come down into a kneeling lunge. And for starters, just give yourself the gentle, satisfying stretch of letting the hips pull forward. Plenty of time for work. So let's give it a little stretch here. Deepen your breath. Bring your awareness back here to your body, to the life happening here. And then let's start to create that sensation of a knee hugging in, a knee pressing out, a heel and a back knee hugging toward each other. As we move from resisting our physical experience to bringing radical acceptance to the life living through us, we awaken from trance. We open to the fullness and mystery of our life. So let's do that. Keep your stability, tuck your back toes. And then when everything feels firm and hugged in, lift to a three point balance. Use the blocks if you like. Open to the fullness and mystery of our life. Left hand onto the shin. And that gives you something else to push into. You might push your leg into your hand as another way to create stability. Option to reach the right arm forward. Option to keep that back toe down. And if you're playing with full warrior three, both arms reach overhead. Hands can be separate or connected. Core is strong, hips are stable. 
fullness and mystery of our life right here, right now, aware. Slower, drop the knee and slide back into woo, your hamstring stretch. Full and slow breaths. And if you like, you can move here or hold still. As we come forward, hands to the inside of our left foot, let's just juice this hip, bring it in and out. Give it movement, give it life. The boundless openness of our true nature. And as we bring this leg back around, let's lower down onto our bellies. And we'll do the shoulder stretch here with arms out in a T, bending the right knee and just flipping over. So we're coming into the front of our left shoulder. If this causes pain in your shoulder, bring your arm down closer to your body. And if you'd like more sensation, the arm can come up on more of an angle. Your body knows what it needs. Be a good listener. Take deeper breaths. And slowly switch to the other side. Left knee bends, roll over, stretching the right front shoulder. Coming back to center. Let's bring the hands underneath the shoulders and come up to a tabletop. And we'll bring ourselves around into a seat. You can take any seat you like. We're moving into twist. So you can cross your legs or butterfly or even legs out. Let's begin by taking the left arm straight up overhead and reach the fingers for the ceiling. So there again is that shoulder flexion. Try to keep your rib cage in. And then the right arm is gonna sweep back, finding its place behind you as the left arm just lowers to the knee. Lengthen through the spine. And as you exhale, can you feel your right shoulder blade hugging more onto your back? and your left shoulder blade opening. Right shoulder blade hugging onto your back, left shoulder blade stretching open. Breathe deeply, feel deeply. Take one more breath in with a full exhale and slowly come back to center. Just pause to notice the difference between your left shoulder and right. They really are two different worlds. Right arm comes up by the ear. Try to keep your rib cage hugged in. Left arm serves up a nice big scoop backwards hand to the floor, lift tall, 
and then let the arm cross the body. So this twist is focusing more on shoulders. As you inhale, your body gets tall, your left shoulder blade hugs to the spine, right shoulder blade opens. And inside of this twist, the heart is beating, the lungs are breathing. boundless experience of our true nature. Take a deep breath in with a long exhale. Ease your way back to center. Pause to notice right and left. Close your eyes in this easy seat and breathe again into this openness, this boundless expression of life. You have a choice to end this practice here, seated in this meditation, to stay right where you are, breathing and observing. If you would prefer a couple of minutes in Shavasana, go ahead and settle yourself down onto the mat. Just choosing the posture that allows you to be the most still, settled and calm. This is a poem about a wise Japanese artist named Hokusai. Hokusai says, look carefully. He says, pay attention, notice. He says, keep looking, stay curious. He says, there is no end to seeing. He says, everything is alive, shells, buildings, people, fish, mountains, trees, wood, water, all alive. Everything has its own life. Everything lives inside us. He says, live with the world inside you. It matters that you care. It matters that you feel. It matters that you notice. It matters that life lives through you. Look, feel, let life take you by the hand. Let life live through you. So I'll take another deep, slow breath together. And let's begin making our way to a seat. And as we end this practice today on a day that celebrates love, if you are able to come a little closer to the screen and let us see your face. This would be amazing. And I'd like you to find someone on this screen and make eye contact.
to see one human being on this screen. And as you are aware of this life force flowing through you, this abundance, this boundless beauty of energy that is you, can you see that in another miraculous life before your eyes? Those eyes that hold the stories of sorrow and celebration. Those eyes that have lived through the unspeakable and through the utmost expression of joy. Find another set of eyes to take in life, energy, and beauty. See and be seen on this day of hearts. We are all so gifted to be part of this, this gathering and this gathering called humanity. May we go through today seeing each other like this the living, breathing energy that each human being is. Thank you, my friends, for taking time today for your yoga, your heart, and your shoulders. Namaste.